Hello everybody, it's Alima the Crochet and the Copy from Lovely Hands Creations. Thank you for joining my video today. I am going to show you how to make crochet soles for your slippers. Um, today I will be showing you how to make a men's size uh, 12-13, so it's kind of big. And this is uh, the sole. I will show you how to make one of these. And I normally use those to make my uh, sneaker slippers so this is what I use them for and I add felt to the bottom of mine and another video I will show you how to do that if you have not done so as of yet please click the subscribe button and then you also click your notification button so that every time a video is posted you will be notified okay so let's get started I am going to use a gray yarn today um, so that it is better for you to see than the black what you will need today is you'll need a size H hook size H crochet hook a pair of scissors A tapestry needle, also known as a darning needle. Some stitch markers. Or you could just use regular safety pins. These are stitch markers. And of course, your yarn. And today I am using Yarn Inspirations Carrion Yarn. And the color is it's a medium gray mix. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with a slip knot. Now, everybody has a different way of doing a slip knot. Some will actually do the knot this way and insert their hook, and that is fine. And then others will do it. This is how I do it I take my yarn and I hold it. Just like this, I put my hook underneath, I twist my yarn, I grab my tail, and then I yarn over and pull through and crochet one extra stitch. Okay? So you could do it however you feel comfortable. We're going to start off, because this is a size men's, size 12, 13, we're going to start off with a row of 34 I believe yep 34 single crochets in order to single crochet you take your yarn in your working hand you put your hook under the yarn and you pull the yarn down and through the loop put your hook under the yarn or yarn over pull it down and through the loop and we're going to do 34 of these. Some people will count their stitch, their slip knot, and some people won't. If you do not count your slip knot, then you will need 35 stitches. If you do, you will only need 34. I count my slip knot, so I will be doing 34. So right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. And you will end up with a nice length of yarn. I do not have my measuring tape, so I cannot tell you exactly how long this is. Now, to start in your, to start your crochet sole, we're going to work back across our foundation chain. So what we have to do is we have to do, put one single, one double crochet, sorry, one double crochet in the third chain from the hook. Your third chain from the hook is not this very first one not the second one but the third so it's one two three you're going to take your yarn 
you're going to yarn over you're going to go into that third stitch pull your yarn through so that you have three loops on your hook you are going to yarn over pull your hook through the first two so that you have two loops on your hook yarn over and pull your hook through the last two so that you have one loop on your hook and then we're going to do that all the way across for 30 stitches if you count it your slip knot as a stitch 31 stitches if you did not okay so let's do that again we're going to go into the next stitch the very next stitch yarn over go into your stitch pull your yarn through three loops on your hook yarn over pull through the first two two loops on your hook yarn over pull through the last two and you have one loop on your hook I will do this one more time and then we'll take a pause and I'll meet you at the end so once again you're going to yarn over put your hook through the loop through your stitch pull your yarn through so that you have three loops on your hook yarn over pull through the first two so that you have two loops on your hook yarn over pull through the last two so that you have one loop on your hook we're going to continue doing our double crochets all the way down until you have one stitch left and I will meet you at the end again if you have counted your slip knot you will be doing 30 stitches if you have not counted your slip knot you will be doing 31 okay meet you back in a minute okay I am coming up for my last couple of stitches this will be stitch number 28 no I'm sorry this will be for me yeah stitch 20, 29 sorry and then 30 and if you forget how many stitches you can always go back and just count your stitches just count them out Pull each stitch apart and count them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. So I have 31 stitches. My mistake. I apologize. In the very last stitch, you should have one stitch left. In this stitch, you will be putting seven double crochets into the same stitch. So you're going to yarn over, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. One. Two. Three. four, five, six, and seven. And your hole may have gotten a little bit bigger. Just take your tail and pull it snug to close it up. And what this does is it creates the roundness of your sole and now you're going to work back down the other side of your of your uh, stitches your foundation chain doing the exact same thing double crochet all the way down until you have one stitch left so you're going to yarn over you're not going to go into right here where the circle is this part here you're not going into this little part here you're going into the very next stitch so you're going to yarn over go into that stitch pull through pull through two pull through two at this point what I like to do is I also like to work over my tail this way it gets it out of the way 
So I hold my tail along the base of where I have to put my stitches. Here's my tail and I'm holding it along the base and I yarn over, go into the stitch. I make sure that my tail is over top of the stitch as well. I pull my yarn through so that it now is covering my tail. I pull through the first two, I yarn over, I pull through the next two. And I continue to do that until I can't see my tail anymore. So I will meet you at the end when you have one stitch left. Okay, I am coming up on the end. I'm at my last two stitches. I'm going to yarn over, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. In this very last stitch, what we're going to do is we're going to put four double crochets, which will help create that curve in your last stitch on this, on this row. So it's one, all inside the same stitch, two, three, and four. And at this point, what you're going to do is you're going to slip stitch into the top of your first single crochet, your double crochet on the other side. So you're going to put a single slip stitch. And the way that you do that is you go into the top, you draw your yarn through, and you draw it through the single loop, and you have now created a slip stitch. For your next row, we're going to chain up three. One, two, three. At this point, you may or you may not want to add a stitch marker. I have to get some more yarn pulled out. So please bear with me. So for, for this purpose, this video purpose, I'm going to take a stitch marker and I'm going to mark my stitch. And again, you can use something as simple as a safety pin. Okay? After you have done that, you're going to double crochet again for 29 stitches along this side. Okay? So we're going to start off into in your next stitch with a double crochet and we're going to do 29 29 for some 30 for others one two three four five and then you just continue down until you are at, until you have uh, your 29 or your 30 stitches. I'm sorry. I was reading my notes. This is all part of my crochet journey. All right, you guys. I'll meet you at the end. Okay. I'm coming up on my 29, 25, 26, 27. 28, 29, and actually I need 30, so I'm going to do 30. At this point, you'll have a little bit left right here, and what we're going to do is we're going to put two double crochets into the next nine stitches. So that's two double crochets into the next nine stitches. So you're going to yarn over. Go through your stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Go back into that exact same stitch and do it, put another double crochet. That will count as one stitch with two double crochets. And you want to do that for nine stitches. So we're going to go into the next one, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, yarn over, go back into that exact same stitch pull through, 
pull through two, pull through two, and that makes two stitches. And we're going to continue to do that. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And nine. And now, as you can see, your toe or your heel, whichever one you're going to want this to be, is now growing. And whatever you did on this side, you will do on this side. So if you did 29 double crochets on this side, then you're going to do 29 double crochets on this side. If you did 30 double crochets on this side, then you will do 30 double crochets on this side. So whatever number that you did, continue to do your double crochets until you reach that number and I will meet you back here. Okay, I am coming up on my last stitch. 30. And now you should have four unworked stitches until you get to your marker, before, before you get to your marker. And what you're going to do is you're going to place two double crochets in each one of those four stitches um, to make a total of eight double crochets. So again, you're going to yarn over, put your hook through the stitch, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go back into that exact same stitch, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. You have just done one. And we need to do four of these. So that's two. That's three. And that's four. And now what we want to do is we want to create a slip stitch into the top of our chain three. So we're not going into this first chain. We're not going into this second chain. We're going into the third chain. Not the first, not the second, but the third, which is the top. And you're going to put your hook through there. Oops. You're going to put your hook through, yarn over, pull it through there, and pull it through the stitch on your hook. And you have a slip stitch. At this point, you could take your stitch marker out to move it up, or you could just add another stitch marker. I like to just add stitch markers as I go, because it does two things. It tells me where I started, and it also tells me how many rows that I've done, or how many rounds. And that was round two. So we now need to start on round three. And we're going to chain three up. One, two, three. And for this purpose, again, I will put in another stitch marker. And now for round three, what you're going to do is you're going to put a double crochet into the exact same space as your chain three. So try to keep your stitch marker out the way, yarn over, go into the exact same space as your chain three, push your hook through, grab your yarn, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So you now have, and I did that wrong, you now have two double crochets in your one stitch. It should look like that. Okay? Now what you're going to do is you're going to double crochet 36 for some, 37 for others, 
down this side of your uh, foot sole. Okay, so my number should be 36 and we will go there. And the first one counted as two, right? So this would be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, and thirty-seven is my magic number. So one more, thirty-seven. Okay, I have to pull some more yarn. I apologize, but my yarn is not cooperating that much with, with me to this evening. And now what we're going to do is in the next seven stitches, we're going to put two double crochets in the next seven stitches. You're almost done. As you can see, you should see the shape of your sole taking place. So you're going to put two double crochets within the next seven. So two in that one, that's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. six, seven. And once again, whatever you do on one side, you're going to do on the other. So if your magic number was 36 on this side, it will be 36 on this side. If it was 37 on this side, then it will be 37 on this side. Now I want to show you something. This is the bottom or the back of the yarn. And you can tell because of how it's created. If you flip it over and look on this side, this has a much cleaner and smoother look. This would be your front or your top. The back does not have that smooth or clean of a look, even though you can use it as your top if you want. But I prefer this look over this one. So I just kind of wanted to show you the difference. All right. Continue on with your double crochets, get to your magic number, and I will meet you back. Okay, we are at the end, and now you should have about five stitches left from your stitch marker. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to put two double crochets into those next five stitches.
one. Two. Three. Four. And then at this point, you will want to take and make a slip stitch in the top of your chain three. And again, you simply do that by going to the top of your chain three, inserting your hook, pulling your yarn through your stitch, and pulling it through the loop on your hook, and pulling up so that you have one loop on your hook. Now that was round three. And we are now on last round four, our very last round. And you have a choice here. If you like this width and the person's foot is not wide, you can do one single crochet all the way around and that will be it. If your person's foot is a little bit wider, you can do a half double crochet all the way around and that will be it. So what you're going to do in either instant is you're going to chain one and at this point you're going to go into each stitch all the way around with either a single crochet or a half double crochet. My, I'm going to do a half double crochet. The way that you do that is almost the same way as you do a double. You, chain, you put your, your, your hook th over the yarn, which is yarn over, put it into the stitch pull your loop through, you have three on your hook, yarn over, and you're going to pull through all three stitches. That is a half double crochet. Again, you're going to yarn over, put your hook into the stitch, pull the yarn through so that you have three loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through all three. That is a half double crochet. So I'm going to do this until it gets all the way around. And then I will meet you back here. I forgot to tell you that while you are doing this, that if you wanted to move your stitch marker up or put a new stitch marker at the beginning, you could do so. So I forgot to tell you guys that and just wanted to mention it now. Okay, I'll see you at the end. Okay, we are almost back at the beginning. I'm doing my last three stitches here. And we're going to end with a slip stitch going into the top of that chain two here your single crochet and do your slip stitch and you're going to take your scissors cut you off a nice little length of yarn and pull your yarn straight through and give it a little tug at this point you can remove all of your stitch markers Grab your darning needle or your tapestry needle, whatever you like to call it. And you need to thread it with your yarn. And we just want to weave in this end. And the way I like to weave in my ends is I like to go into the back here. And I just kind of find me a stitch. And I push it through and I kind of push downward to go through a couple of the other stitches that's down but I go in through the back and I pull through and that kind of closes that up and then I come back up the same way over top of my last stitch and back up through those end stitches there and I pull through again and I cut my yarn as close to the bottom as possible and there you have it you now have your crochet sole for a men's size 12 13 you can make two three four however many you can mix and match colors if you like to have a double sole like this you could do a double sole and mix and match your colors or you could do all gray or all black or whatever color you're using I hope that this video has helped you if you have any comments, suggestions, 
um, for next videos, suggestions about this video, um, anything that questions that you would like to ask, please leave me a comment and I will be sure to respond. And again, if you have not done so yet, please click your subscribe button and turn on your notifications so that every time we go live, you can get a notification of our live videos. I thank you for coming on my crochet journey and I hope that this video has helped anybody who needed to make crochet sews. All right, have a good evening. Assalamu alaikum and do something nice for somebody. As always, I thank you for tuning in to Lovely Hands Creations.